Have any of you guys ever done a video edit where you put together about 20 minutes of video, so then you render it as a rough, rough edit, go through the next day, spend another four hours putting in the music, fixing the little mistakes, tightening up the edit, render the whole thing again, upload the whole result to YouTube without looking at it, the upload fails. Upload it again, still fails. Then you take a close look at it and find it's a blank video. And here's the dumb part. You've already deleted the raw files because you don't have space to uh, save them all. So instead of a wild, wildly action-packed, enjoyable video showing making and welding up a frame, using the maho to, to miter all the cuts and bore things and using the tapmatic for the first time ever to thread some big holes, all we get is the B-roll. So sorry about that. It is what it is. And here we can see that simplified design. Now the legs just go straight to the floor. The control cabinets will be overhung to the left, but they're bolted straight to these legs. Most of the weight of the lathe is in this area. So it's really only the motor that'll be overhung to the left as well. So I think that should work fine. Much simpler for cutting all the pipes and getting it all welded up. Well, I've now fitted, finished fitting up all the pipes. And the next thing to do is to start tacking this stuff together. Next up, I'm going to fit up and tack the rear legs with this with the spreader bar. I've now got the raw stand welded up. I still have to put the covering sheet on it, which is uh, four millimeter steel. And there's a few welds which aren't really that nice, got inclusions and stuff in them. So I'll grind those back and re-weld them. But this gives you an idea of what it's gonna be like. I still have to fit the cabinets and the electrical cabinet, and of course, painting and all the other things. Thanks for watching. Sorry I messed up this week's video. Um, yeah, hopefully back to the normal quality next week.